Leadership is a solution to every problem. We must raise great leaders in all aspects of life who can lead us to realize our vision, master plan, goals, targets, and objectives. We need leaders in business. We need leaders in education. We need leaders in health. We need leaders in agriculture. We need leaders in culture. We need leaders in political offices. We need leaders in all areas of life. We must target those top offices and plant our children there. Then we will be in charge of our affairs and consequently our destiny. Without good leaders, we shall never get to the promised land. We need leaders, not politicians. Politics creates problems. Leadership solves the problems. Politics will never solve any problem because it thrives only where there are problems. Politics is not designed to solve any problem, but leadership is designed to solve problems. If politics solved problems, it would lose credibility and cease to exist. If leadership never solved any problem, it would lose meaning and cease to exist. We need leadership, not politics. We don't need politics at all. We need leadership with all our might. Who are our leaders of today? Who are those who will rally us to fight for what we want as a people? Who will sacrifice for the people? Who will lead us to the promised land? Who will go ahead of us and exhort us to follow him? We are the leaders we seek. We should manifest the great leaders hidden within us. Nobody will ever come from any place and lead us to our destiny. We are the ones to lead ourselves to our destiny. We are the ones to lead ourselves to the promised land. We are the ones to lead ourselves to get whatever we want as a people. Who will lead us in business? Who will lead us in education? Who will lead us in the health sector? Who will lead us in culture? Who will lead us in agriculture? Who are those who will hold our hands and lead us to the future we desire? Who are those who will groom the young people to become future leaders? Who are those who will mentor others to lead? Who are those who are to be mentored? When I talk of mentorship, I remember the wise words of the great Nelson Mandela who said, the young people of today are the leaders of tomorrow. The words are true today as they were even before Mandela spoke them. If we don't invest in the young people, we are doomed. Any society that does not invest in the young people has a dark future. If we invest in the young people, we will raise future leaders. Otherwise, we will raise future slaves. Who in his right mind wants to be a slave? Who in his right mind wants to raise future slaves? Who is the same person who raises future slaves, not leaders? Who does not need future leaders, but future slaves? Can you imagine that if you don't invest in your children, then you are raising future slaves? Let us invest in our young people. The young people should be submissive and obedient so that they are meant to receive the baton from the old people. It is on record that no one who is disobedient can easily be taught. Our young people must be obedient, disciplined, and submissive so that we can mentor them to receive the baton from us. The old people must mentor the young people. By mentoring the young people, we secure our future. We must secure our own future, ourselves. No one will secure our future for us. To secure our future, we need good leadership. If we don't mentor the young people, then we must forget about the promised land. Why do we need mentorship? Why is mentorship crucial? Why must we mentor others? Because life is like a relay race. Life is like a relay race. One generation runs and hands over the baton to the next generation. In a relay race, one person runs and hands over the baton to another person. Who does the same? However, before you hand over the baton, you must prepare well so that you successfully hand it over. Before you hand over the baton, you must properly prepare the person who will receive it from you so that it does not fail. Before you hand over the baton, both you and the one to receive it from you must adequately prepare. Are you prepared to hand over the baton? Are you prepared to give the baton to another person? Are you prepared to release the baton to another person who should take over from you? The person who should receive the baton from you must also be prepared properly, otherwise he can fail. In a relay race, none is successful until all are successful. Hence teamwork is very important and leaders build teams of committed people around them with whom they execute their activities. If you don't prepare other people to take over from you, then your venture could die with you. Many companies, ventures and organizations have died with their owners because the owners did not mentor people who should receive the baton from them. 
Mentorship guarantees continuity. Don't die with the baton in your hands. Hand it over in time. Politicians want to die with the baton in their hands, while leaders want to hand over in time. Politicians destroy those who should receive the baton from them, while leaders nurture those who should receive the baton from them. Politicians want to die with the baton in their hands, while leaders want to hand over as soon as possible. Politicians want to go to the grave with the baton, while leaders want to go to the grave empty. Will you hand over the baton or die with it in your hands? Will the young people get the baton from your hands when you are dead or when you are still alive? Will you raise even greater people to take over from you or destroy the very people who should take over from you? Great leaders produce even greater leaders. Through mentorship, leaders prepare others to receive the baton from them. Have you prepared someone to receive the baton from you? It's the question. To whom will you hand over the baton in your hands? Who is waiting to receive the baton from you? Who is learning from you so that they succeed you? Whom are you mentoring to take over from you when your time is up? Become a leader and lead us in at least an area. We are the very leaders we desire and deserve. No one will ever come from any place and lead us to the promised land. We are the ones to lead ourselves to the promised land. Either we lead ourselves to the promised land or no one leads us there. In which area will you lead our people? Where will you start from? What will you start with? The starting point of every venture in life is right where you are with what you have. Where are you in life? What do you have where you are? How are you using it? Start from where you are with what you have. And then lead our people in at least an area. Leadership begins with each of us. You cannot lead others if you cannot lead yourself. Can you lead yourself? He who cannot lead himself does not qualify to lead other people, for he cannot lead anyone. If you cannot lead yourself, then you cannot lead other people. For our continuity to be guaranteed, we must raise great leaders who will lead us to the future we desire. The great leaders will raise greater leaders through mentorship. The greater leaders will raise even greater leaders that way, our continuity will be guaranteed.